What's going on guys, it's Carl here. Uh, coming back into this studio, I have just traveled 30,000 kilometers, around 20,000 miles in the past week. Maybe just a tad bit tired is an understatement. <laughs> So I went from Toronto to London for the Mate 20 Pro launch, back to Toronto and the next day to Tokyo. Just testing out something there that is unreleased. Cannot wait to share the details. This is the tech that I use to essentially travel around the world. So before we start, big, big shout outs to my sponsor for this episode that have kind of helped fuel my travels. It's actually LastPass. It's an app that helps manage all of your passwords. Super, super useful as I have tons of devices that I'm always testing. I can keep my passwords in one place and it autofills your credentials both in mobile sites and apps, whether you're rocking iOS or Android. So very, very useful. As it sometimes gets a bit overwhelming with all devices that I kind of carry with me, everything is encrypted. If you guys want to check them out, I will leave a link down below. Super, super useful. And they've definitely helped me save a lot of time. So thanks again to LastPass for sponsoring my travel shenanigans. Now on to the rest of my video. Perfect segue to devices. It's funny when I do cross the border, the security guards are always like, what are you doing with four or five phones? I am not a drug dealer, I promise. <laughs> The first one is the one that I was doing a bit of a project with. Cannot share the details. I will put that off to the side. But the ones that I can share details with, the first being the Mate 20 Pro. As I mentioned, the launch was just last week in London. Such an awesome camera. It is so, so versatile. Just to stay posted to my full review, which should be coming out in the next couple days. Numero two is the Pixel 3 XL, and this is kind of the benchmark which I test all of my Android devices against. The Pixel 2 won best camera of last year. It kind of builds on that. Perhaps not as big of an improvement as some of us would have liked to see. Nevertheless, though, an awesome, awesome camera, and of course, stock Android. Three is the Galaxy Note 9. I didn't really use this as much. I do like to test against most Samsung flagships. I will put that off to the side, probably the best Samsung device that you can get. And last but not least, Team iPhone for all you iOS users. I have the 10s Max, kind of the daily driver that I use on my Team iPhone side. So those four plus this guy equals five. As you can see, I'm running a very shady business to most border control officers. Next up, I guess I kind of forgot to mention this was the pack and you can probably see I've got some snacks inside as I didn't finish them. This is a little Supreme pack. I wouldn't say it's the most efficient tech travel pack, but it does kind of hold all of my stuff in it. And the first thing that I do take out usually is my good old MacBook Pro. This guy kind of crunches all my edits, and if any of you are in the space of video editing, you want to be a content creator. If you are using Final Cut, that's the thing that I use to edit all of my vids. This guy, I think, is a no-brainer. I know they are super expensive, but you can essentially run an entire business just with this little machine. You do not need that more expensive 10 grand iMac Pro behind me. And other than that, we really just have the main accessories to shoot video. The first being the Sony A7R 3 Biggest Sony fanboy, I think, out there. I am a huge fan of the form factor. I know other content creators love Canon, love the color space, the 1DX Mark II. That thing is massive. This guy easily fits into my pack. It is handheld, shoots in 4K. Honestly, what more could you ask for in a full frame sensor? The only thing that I'd probably say, get the A7 III. You don't really need the R3. It's just got a higher megapixel count for stills and a pricier thousand dollar price tag. Lenses. I went light and went with the OGs, the ones that I've kind of stood behind for the past two years. We have the Battis 18mm 2.8, such a lovely lens, and of course the 85 1.8. I mean, I've got the 16 to 35 G Master and 70 to 200. Both of these are 2.8, but the key thing that a lot of people forget when they're traveling. These guys are so lightweight. And even my 85, you can take off the lens cap and it kind of breaks down to this small form factor. I'll kind of flash my Insta images that I shot with both of these guys. Here's the 18 mils. And here are the buttery 85s, by far my favorite portrait lens out there. On my camera, I've got these tassels, which kind of connects to this Peak Design strap. This guy is so useful once again. All about that travel game. You can easily connect the strap in a couple quick clicks. And now the camera is secure. I just wish though that this strap was actually slightly thinner. It kind of doesn't match the form factor of a Sony body, probably more suited to a Canon one, but still can't complain. An awesome, 
awesome accessory to have. My audio game is kind of complete with the Sennheiser MKE 440. Awesome mic, I will just say, please, if you are recording, I've made this mistake twice now, especially on my Mate 20 Pro shoot, I did not set the volume properly. There are three different settings, make sure you have it dialed in before you start recording, otherwise all of that footage is kind of lost, and that is why my Mate 20 Pro video is so delayed. Rookie, rookie mistake. Um, the next guy that I went with was this little Benro mini tripod. I actually tried this out and I kind of regret it. And this guy, you can actually pivot around the head when it's not unlocked. So if you have a heavier rig, I had my Sony on there. It just kind of didn't really hold up. This guy has just now been demoted to studio use and I'm sure I'll still find a place for it. Headphones are a game changer, especially when you're on a plane. I just came back, as I said, 13 hour flight from Tokyo. Cannot say how clutch over the ear headphones are, especially noise canceling ones when you are traveling. Anyways, that is the tech that I brought with me across 30,000 kilometers, 20,000 miles in one week. You can definitely make a mobile workstation with all of this gear. So I hope some of this helped you out and I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Cannot wait to share some of the other content from those trips and I will catch the rest of you in hopefully one of my next ones or in one of those vlogs that I claim I will make one of these days. Peace.